this is my sewing channel, So Do Emma. This is where I talk all about my journey into dressmaking, along with size inclusive patterns and lots of fabrics from a stash and maybe some fabric calls. Um, yes, so this is or this has come round rather quickly but it is my video collaboration with the lovely Michelle Sews again. She has a YouTube video and she's also got an uh, Instagram where she her handle is called The Real Michelle Sews Again. So here we are. If you just come across from Michelle's channel a warm welcome. I hope you do stick around and maybe subscribe and give me a little cheeky thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you just come back, if you're a regular viewer, welcome again. I hope you enjoy this video as well. And don't forget to give me a little cheeky thumbs up. And uh, thank you. I'll give you loads of bobbins back. <laughs> so, um. Okay, the collaboration. You may be aware that this whole collab collaboration came together um, as Michelle wanted to do something in memory of her father and raise awareness of the horrible disease Alzheimer's. So, turning a negative into somewhat of a positive we're hoping to re raise some money towards research to see if we can f help fight um this yucky disease so michelle reached out to me and a lot of other vloggers and asked me if there was a pattern that would i would like to do and i was like well you know what I think, I think I've got one or two up my sleeve. So I came with the Steel Pinafore um, by LB Textiles. Now, I've done a couple of LB Textiles patterns before. Her instructions are really good. And usually the last two patterns that I've done with her are through Peppermint Magazine. And they can be free or you can donate something towards the work that goes behind the scenes to make those patterns so i did get them for free um and these patterns are the wide strap maxi dress and the bardon dress which are both lovely really really lovely patterns to sew up and i really enjoyed sewing them up Apart from getting my head in a little bit of a pickle with the French seams. Now, fortunately, this pinafore does not have French seams. So, hey, it has a lining though. But we'll get into that. So, this is kind of a view as well. So, let's get to it. This pattern has two views and I'll just show you them. Um, one is view A and that has um, the standard bodice and it has an A-line skirt or you've got the standard bodice with the gathered skirt. Now it has two cups as well so you've got the B cup or the C slash D cup. And it's in sizes A to N. Now it goes from a 29 inch bust, high bust, to a 55 inch high bust. A B cup full bust is 31 inches to 57 inches. The C D cup is 32 and a half inches to 58 and a half inches. The waist goes from a 24.4 inches to 50 inches. The hip is 34.6 inches to 62 inches. Now, the view A has 8 inches of ease, 
and view B has around 26 inches of ease because it's a gathered skirt. Now, I went with view B, the gathered skirt, because I do like a gathered skirt. And I've used this lovely, I don't know if you can quite see it, but um, this lovely um, linen blend, I think. And I think, if I remember correctly, I got this from Lamazi Fabrics about three and a half years ago. So it has been sitting in my stash. I've eyeballed it for a few projects that just didn't come and materialise. Um, so I thought with ALZ being purple, yep, it, it just had to be used. So I'm really pleased I've used it for this um, garment and the actual challenge um it really really suits it um the fabrics that this pattern suggests are medium weight woven fabrics with good drape tensile rayon washed linen silk no noir soft cottons etc so i've kind of picked a really good fabric for it and because it has like princess seams going down the bus it's a really nice fit it just sculpts the breast the chest um really nice now you will need extra fabric for your lining however i had two and a half meters of this yet the pattern asked for 2.3 meters of the fabric in my size which I kind of work between an H and an N a blended sizes but it does say 2.3 and it asks for 80 centimeters of lining fabric however I got all that in the same fabric the lining and outer out of 2.5 meters I didn't go with the pattern layout um yeah the pattern layout i just pattern dressed it and i've i've still got a wee chunk left of this material so yeah that might be that scrap might be turned into pocket bags or whatever in future um projects because it is a it's a really nice fabric to touch um so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, so yes, you will need matching thread to your fabric for one and a half centimeter buttons. I chose one centimeter buttons. Um, and optional four to six extra buttons if you would like more closure along the side seams of the skirt opening. Didn't use that it's fine 35 centimeters of stabilizer that's quite precise but i had interfacing in my stash anyway so i used that oh sorry it's meant to be fabric stabilizer water syllable or tear away cut away mm, i've just used interfacing instead of fabric stabilizer but Never mind. I've not used any on the where the buttons are, and they're fine because I'm not going to be badgering them too often. So that's fine. Tells you if I read the instructions well enough, eh? But otherwise, the instructions are really, really good. Um, LB T Textiles really has a knack of writing good instructions because I've done the barden dress and I've done the wide strap dress and yeah I'm pretty chuffed with them um I've still not made a second version of either of them but never mind we'll get round there at some point says she who has a billion plans yep so um the fitting notes this pattern has been drafted for a height of 
foot seven inches and ends below the knee so keep that in mind if you need to shorten up the bodice do so i didn't and i'm only five foot three and i quite like where the bodice ends on my waist so yeah and i didn't even want to shorten the skirt because i like a longer skirt and i think the proportions work on my body so i'm quite comfortable with that and um, the instructions overall were really good i did not have any issues the finish inside is absolutely gorgeous and um, even on the outside there's top stitching um and the buttons that i've used are so cute he <laughs> i'll pop in pictures as well and videos you can actually see the details because it's all about the details and the finesse i am super pleased with this i put in a couple of labels as well so you can see them too um yeah i'm really really chuffed and i just want to say thank you to michelle for asking me to collaborate it's been amazing so if you come across from Mich michelle's channel welcome i do hope you've enjoyed this little video and my little collaboration with michelle it's been a riot of a month I've, i'm not quite sure how michelle's cope with almost sewing every day and then having to drop and leave to go and work on in another state kind of thing just like it baffles me i don't know how you can fit so many projects into a month i thought i was crazy <laughs> in a good way um yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give me a little cheeky thumbs up and if you would like to be notified of future videos please do subscribe and join and stay with me if you've come from michelle's video or you've just come across this channel that would be lovely to have you don't leave <laughs> <laughs> but yeah if you give me a little cheeky thumbs up that helps spread the bob and love through youtube and hopefully youtube picks up on that and then spreads the video a bit more you know you know so i'm gonna put in a few video images and photos towards the end so you can see this pinafore the steel pinafore in a beautiful linen fabric <laughs> i've got my mallow and a teal mallow and teal i think it's mallow and teal earrings um i love these colors and i think it goes quite nicely with the adrian blouse from pride pattern company blouse yeah underneath this as well as the lilac in the earrings and the pinafore so yeah i've just slipped on a pair of leggings underneath because september has got pretty cold this morning i had to put gloves on <laughs> um walking the dog my fingers were feeling the cold at 10 degrees this morning it was quite nippy definitely autumn on the way but yeah I can leave this up um i've got a couple of jersey fabrics that i want to sew up a little top with so or tops should i say so watch this space um as i go through some part of a journey finding outfits with this new steel pinafore and this is just one of them with the adrian blouse I think it's a good match um i will probably wear leggings with this especially during autumn and winter and spring and then maybe summer you might see my bare legs in it <laughs> but nevertheless if you've just stuck with me through that ra ramble off on a tangent again you will get this quite a few times on my channel so be warned but if you like my humor stick with me cheeky little thumbs up happy bobbins and subscribe if you haven't already 
here's a little reveal of what my make is like in full video screen. I hope you enjoy. Take care. Happy bobbing. Bye. Sway there in all the colors That's sure something I could use